a valuable tool that you can use in Microsoft Excel when you're managing a list of information is to do, is to do filtering. What filtering allows you to do is to hide information that don't meet your criteria for the time being. For example, you may have a list of different customers that you're, that, that you're dealing with in your business. One of the columns may be the name of the customer. Another column might be their street address, for example. A third column might be the city that, that, they, that they do business in. And what you might want to be able to do is just focus on part of the list. Don't only show companies in your list that, that are from a certain city. So rather than be overwhelmed with a long list, you can filter your data to focus on the part of the list that you want to work with for that time being. This video demonstrates to you how you can do what's called basic filtering. Enjoy the video. I have a worksheet open that I'll be using for demonstrating how you do basic filtering. This worksheet has a listing of different purchase order numbers, different suppliers that are selling products to an organization, different departments or services in that organization. They are child care, autism, youth justice, family services, or more of an example of a community-based organization. This fictitious organization has three different locations in York, Keswick, and Peterborough, and column me shows the dollar amount of the purchase orders. What I want to be able to do is to see only those orders are for the location called Keswick. So this is called filtering in Excel 2010. First of all, to do a filter, I have to be active somewhere in my data area. I can't be in part of a blank part of the worksheet, so I click anywhere in the data area. I then go to the data tab above the ribbon and click on that. Then on the ribbon about halfway across, there's a sort and filter group. In the certain filter group, I'll click on the filter button, and I get drop-down arrows that show up next to all of my column headings. What I want to, again, be able to see here are all the orders for the Keswick location only. So I click on the down arrow next to the location column. I'll get a drop-down list. It'll show me in the drop-down list all the different possible choices in that column. If I want to see something, I leave the check mark next to it. If I don't want to see it, if I don't want to see the information, I take the check mark out next to it. So in this case, I'll take the check mark out next to Peterborough and also out next to York. And all I'm going to see now are the orders for the Keswick location. I click OK. And what that quickly does, it filters down or hides information that, that does not pertain to the Keswick location. I'm just scrolling down the spreadsheet. Now you'll notice if you look closely that the there's now a marker in column D, which indicates there's a filter on that column. So click on that little marker. And I'll click on Select All in the drop-down list to put check marks back next to all locations. And I'll click OK to bring all my data back. Let's, again, say, for example, all I want to see are the orders for the autism services and for the child care services. So I click on the down arrow again, in this case in column C. I want to see the autism, so I leave the check mark next to it. I want to see child care, I leave the check mark next to it. I don't want to see for family services or for youth justice, so I take those check marks out, and I click OK. It now shows me only those orders for child care and for autism. To make this even uh, a bit more effective, if all I want to see are the orders for those two services, child care and autism, but only for the York location, I can layer a filter on top of a filter by going to the location drop-down arrow. And in this case, I will take off Keswick and Peterborough, leaving only a check mark next to York, I'll click OK. I get down to even a smaller set of information in my worksheet. Now, I'm never losing anything. I'm just hiding information that I don't want to see for the time being. So I'm going to turn off my filter by going up to the filter button, and that brings all my information back. One more example. I'll go back to the filter button again. All I want to see are orders for certain suppliers. So I go to the arrow next to the supplier column. In this case, there's a long list of different suppliers, so it might be easier in this case to take all the check marks out by removing the check mark next to select all and put a couple of check marks back in for those suppliers that I want to see information on. Again, if I want to see something, I'll put a check mark in. If I don't want to see it, I take the check mark out. I'll click OK, and it filters my information down to a smaller list of information. Now, if I were to print this information, all I, see on, all I will see on my printout is, is the filtered information. So I'll take my mouse up to the File tab, I'll move down to print. It'll take me into a print preview window, and all I'm seeing here are the is the filtered information in my spreadsheet. So it's just a great tool for being able to see only parts of your spreadsheet, so you can focus on that rather than be overwhelmed with a long with a large spreadsheet. I'm not going to actually print this. I'll go back to the home tab, and I'll turn the filters off by going up to the data tab, and I'll click on the filter button, and that'll take the filters off, turn off the arrows in the column headers. So I hope you can see now how valuable filtering is, especially for those people that, are, have, that have a long list of information in a worksheet. 
and rather than be overwhelmed with thousands and thousands of rows of information, what they can easily do is do a filter on their list to get it down to a smaller list, and that way they can focus on that part of the list that they want to maybe call customers on or print off information about those customers. We have lots of other, lots of other valuable videos on our website at www.joecomputertips.com. They help you to become more comfortable and more efficient as you're using Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, and so on. So please visit our website. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. My name again is Joe Peterson.